In this video, we're going to look at how to analyze pump test recovery data using Infinite Extent. As an example, I can go to the file menu and from the example data sets, I can select recovery data. Here we can look at the data for observation well number two. The drawdown starts at zero and goes down to a maximum and that maximum occurs at 240 minutes. Then pumping stops and the water is measured until it recovers to near zero. From the edit menu, I can go to aquifer parameters and the important piece of data to enter here is the time at which pumping ends. And we need to check this box to indicate that our test includes recovery data. So the value is 240 minutes. If I go to the view menu, I can look at one of the graphs and see what my data looks like during the recovery period. To analyze my recovery data, I go to the view menu and I select TICE recovery. This uses the TICE recovery method. Here I have a semi-log graph and I have a best fit line fit through the data points. The data points on this graph are the recovery data only. I can control at the beginning and the end of the test which data points are included in the best fit calculation using the buttons at the bottom of the screen. Here I am excluding these data points at the end of the line and I can add them back in with the other button. And these two buttons exclude the data points at the beginning of the line. Calculations are displayed in a text box. You can click and drag the text box to reposition it. You can right click to set colors and fonts for the text box. Note that my calculated transmissivity is 1.276 times 10 to the negative 4. Just for fun, we can go to the TICE confined aquifer test curve and we can do a match by dragging and dropping our points onto the type curve. And our calculated transmissivity comes out to 1.185 times 10 to the minus 4. That's a pretty decent match for aquifer test data.